My name's Chris, and I'm a master barista here at the Factory Cafe at Stone Creek. That's a, a role that's about, first of all, crafting uh, really good drinks for customers, um, but there's also a like education mentorship component to it, where we're doing things like um, teaching coworkers how to uh, dial in espresso on the bar, for example, or um, we're working on their latte art pours with them. The best part about that for me is just forming uh, relationships with uh, customers and coworkers um, through this kind of shared, shared love of coffee and um, espresso and good food too. I've been here for I think around five and a half years now. My favorite kinds of coffees are ones with a little bit of a complexity. I love single origins, but I also uh, love blends a lot because I think um, with a blend there's an opportunity for maybe a little more dimension and dynamiz dynamism, I guess. Multiple components instead of just one. And there's more opportunity for contrast, but um, you're also trying to get them to like somehow synergize at the same time. I love, uh, I love things that are, are roasted a little lighter because I think that preserves the the like, origin specific uh, flavor a little better um, and you get a little more uh, a little more complexity to it that way. Tell me about Constellation. Oh god. Um, so this is uh, my, my brew. The name was um, sort of inspired by my other job. I'm, I'm a full-time gem cutter. I think of cutting a gem as it's sort of like a matter of creating a, like a tiny little constellation of facets in the gem and you're trying to line those facets to get the light to bounce around in between them in, in a way that creates a, a sort of form or pattern that if they're aligned properly is real bright and sparkly and if they're not aligned properly you get a stone that's really kind of dull and just doesn't sparkle. Um, I took that same approach with, with creating constellation. Um, just in that you're, you're trying to get these different components and flavor notes to negotiate with one another and, and there, there needs to be a little contrast, there needs to be a little synergy and I think we succeeded in that, I'd like to think so anyways. Um, so it's got um, an Ethiopian component from Yirgashef um, that's really bright and floral. Um, it's got some good sparkling acidity in there, pun intended. And there's also a Colombian component that's a little fruitier, a little sweeter. Um, and then we kept the uh, roast level pretty light so you can uh, um, taste all those uh, origin flavors um, coming through. You'll love it or your money back. <laughs> I will never leave this place. I can't, I can't sit in my closet all day cutting gems 24-7. I need to get out. Um, and I don't know, I think like there's some jobs you do for money. There's some jobs you do for because it's your passion. I think this is... Um, probably a little bit of both and I just can't you know I just can't ever leave a, a job where I get to make and drink great coffee around great people every day.